Milan Kundera says somewhere in his book Immortality that ugliness is the eccentric poetry of randomness, while beauty is an unpoetic mediocrity. In A Beautiful Person, randomness has chosen a boring average of all characteristics. Beauty is like an average simplicity, it's boring. <laughs> it's interesting how on one hand we sit and stare at beauty with awe, while on the other hand we look down on it, considering it flawed or not poetically random enough. Brandy was beautiful. Too beautiful, probably, even for us, the rescuers, that sometimes look at beautiful dogs as if that's all they are. Beautiful and purebred, and as beautiful and purebred, they should be adopted fast enough by someone who values appearance and nothing else. So we can work hard on rehoming the other ones, the less gorgeous, the ones that are beautiful on the inside. It's something like a concealed racism in reverse. Oh, there's a purebred, let's rehome it as a purebred. There's a black and tan mixed breed, let's focus on its character and rehome it as a loyal companion and best friend. Don't get me wrong, we're not that shallow, but rescuing a beautiful dog like Brandy from time to time makes things a bit easier for us. Sometimes. And sometimes it makes things a lot more difficult. Brandy was found tied to a fence one day near a rescue place we have in the outskirts of Athens with a note that said something like, can't keep her, sorry, blah blah. We named her Brandy because of her beautiful color that looked like someone had mixed all the shades of brown together and applied them on her fur perfectly combined, fading into one another with symmetry and grace. Her beauty was poetic and we thought it would get her adopted in no time. What's that saying? Man plans and God laughs? <laughs> Someone was laughing at us, that's for sure. Because despite our efforts, despite the fact that she hit one million views on YouTube, despite all the attention she got, Brandy just wouldn't get adopted. Everything and everyone seemed just wrong. Maybe that's what beauty does. Maybe that's the price you have to pay for being beautiful. A beautiful facade attracts everyone and they bump into it as if it's a glass wall, unable to get to what's inside, or unworthy of it because that's not what attracted them in the first place. Rehoming a dog as gorgeous as her can be more difficult than you can imagine. People come rushing with promises, showing off their knowledge of the breed and the character and the German Shepherd this and the German Shepherd that as if Brandy was not the unique individual Brandy, but a product that came out of a factory that produces brandies per dozens, with the same colors and the same features and the same needs and feelings and souls. With her rescue story going viral, the emails and phone calls kept coming, but most of them seemed wrong. She was so unlucky that even the few candidates we had handpicked changed their minds mid-adoption. She was even rehomed for two days and returned. Her, of all the dogs, her. The fact that she was returned attracted even more attention, to the point where we almost missed the family she had been waiting for. The first few phone calls went unanswered, but they insisted. They emailed us, they texted me, and we still wouldn't trust them. Talia went to the adoption meeting half-hearted and I didn't even bother thought they would be time wasters, like all the others, but they weren't, not this time. Brandy was adopted on December 6, 2017, one year after her rescue. It's been a year now that she's in her forever home and her beauty still shines, but it shines differently, individually, uniquely. We seem to forget individuality sometimes when it comes to dog breeds. As if all German Shepherds, all Golden Retrievers, all French Bulldogs are the same. And we choose dogs based on brand marketing, because we think that they are going to fit better, as if we are choosing a car or an accessory. Dogs are not accessories to show off, nor expensive cars to brag about. They are individuals, whether their looks are unique, or whether they seem to have come out of a factory that produces identical items per thousands, they still are and always will be unique. <laughs>